Okay, uh, here's uh, part two. Uh, just gonna finish off the last three fights of uh, the Strike Force Ch Challengers 11. Uh, Billy Evangelista beat uh, Joaquin Spirit Wolf by unanimous decision. Um, Spirit was a warrior, you know. The, uh, I, I, this was like the fun fight of the night, you know. Um, they they always Strike Force always manages to have one, and this was it. Uh, Billy Evangelista, he's undefeated. Um, he doesn't look like he's to me. He doesn't look like he's big card ready yet. I mean, he caught out KJ Nunes. I think Nunes would actually light him up pretty bad, <laughs> to be honest. Um, but he doesn't. He doesn't seem like the type of guy that's gonna like graduate from challengers yet, like Woodley or Tim Kennedy as or Rockhold should. And I think Galvao's graduated too, and so has Sir Kaufman. Um, but yeah, eventually he, he just has a lot of holes. His striking's pretty good. He seems pretty quick. Um, you know, he got taken down, but he would get back up, which I really, I always like to see that when a guy gets taken a bit down, that he actually works to get taken, you know, to go back up. I hate it when guys are like content with sitting in guard. <laughs> I, so it's really nice to see. Um, yeah, but Vanderlei, uh, yeah, he looked pretty good here. You know, he's still a prospect, kind of sloppy. It, it's it's one of those things. Like, there's some prospects that you're like, oh wow, this guy's gonna get huge, and then there's other prospects that are like, ah, maybe he. I don't know if he'll get it past mid tier. And like honestly, Billy Vanderlei kind of, kind of comes off to me like, I don't know if he's gonna get past the mid tier. There isn't anything about him. That strikes me as like great. It looks like he's getting good at everything, but he's not getting great at any one thing. So yeah, that's the thing. Um, good win, and he's a fun fighter. It's not like I don't like the guy, and it's not like there's no potential for him to get really good or anything. But you know, um, they, I there just seems to have a couple holes in the game. He, he looked like he got hit pretty easy and whatnot. So um, Spirit Wolf, like I said, Warrior. Um, Really fun fight, you know. He'd fight even when he's tired. His record is pretty deceiving, uh, you know, because he, he fights pretty tough for a guy. I think he's like eight and seven now or something like that. Um, not the best record, but um, you know, fun fight. Definitely like the funniest fight of the night. And uh, after that, uh, Lavard Big Johnson beat Virgil Zwicker via TKO. Um, Zwicker's like a two of fiver, you know. He's a light heavyweight. Lavar Johnson came in like two two fifty one. Um, Lavar Johnson actually, it's I think that Lavar Johnson just for having fun, sloppy, untechnical, you know, slugfest, that he should probably move to the bigger cards just because I don't know how many Zwickers they can give him, you know, or Mahe, you know, I think he fought Mahe. I'm not too sure, um, but. Yeah, it's the same thing with him. He's actually a prospect, too. I think he's, uh, you know, he's, like, I think he's in his third. Oh. I, it's hard to be really impressed with him, too, because, one, he looks like a, a, a heavyweight that'll gas in first round, and he looks like just that type of heavyweight that's kind of one-dimensional, that, like, hits hard. Doesn't seem to have much else. <laughs> um, technically, I mean, he's a fun guy to watch. Um... But, like, you know, he's done with the Zwickers, you know. It'd be interesting to see him fight, like, a guy Shane Del Rosario. But Del Rosario, like, in his last fight, like, his stand-up looks, like, kind of crisp. I, I he, he won one of his fights by, like, Oma Plata. So, like, when you see a prospect like Del Rosario, you're like, wow, this, this guy's pretty good, you know. When you see, like, LeVar Johnson, it's like, wow, this guy's fun to watch. But, man, he, you know, he's got some holes in his game. <laughs> Um, that's the thing. Um, but yeah, uh, I, I, I guess I can see LeVar Johnson going to the bigger shows. It'd be pretty cool. Maybe you can fight like the loser of like Antonio Silva versus um, Valentina Overeem or something like that. Andre Olofsky is always available. Uh, Brett Rogers hasn't had a fight. So Shane Del Rosario. Um, if you want to feed him Daniel Cormier, um, you can do that. Um, David Coleman actually just fought uh, Jason Riley. Maybe Jason Riley's wouldn't be too bad a fight for Lavar Johnson um, at this point. 
So it'll be pretty interesting. Um, yeah, but like I said, he, he's kind of like it's kind of like the Billy Evangelista prospect, where it's kind of like yeah, he's a prospect, he's fun to watch. I don't really see much in him that's like that great, to be honest. I think he'd uh, get lit up with anyone with like some skill. Uh, Cormier would probably take him down. I think he can get outboxed. He, he's he's not that technically sound. Fun to watch though, you know. If his hands connect, you know, it's pretty vicious. So yeah, and uh, finally, there's the uh, main event of the evening as uh, Bobby Volker uh, beat Roger Bo Bowling by a TKO in round two. Really disappointing me actually. I pick. Uh, I think a lot of people picked Roger Bowling to win this fight, and Bobby Volker. But one, he did his homework. Um, two, Roger Bowling is a prospect, which is kind of funny. Coming off a loss, like he's still young, and there's he, there's some potential there because he he does do a pretty quick pace. He was telegraphing his shots, which was really bad. Um, his stand up was uh, actually there was sometimes when he was uh, beating Volker into stand up. Uh, he clinched against a cage a lot, um, which was fine. But man, once Bowling was put on his back, man, he didn't know how to posture control. He, you know, he, he went for this arm bar that didn't look very good. <laughs> um, you know, uh, there's just a lot of holes in his game. It looks like he got tired really fast, which, because um, he, he fights at that relentless pace, rel as, as his nickname says relentless um, I mean he's still a, a pretty good prospect though nonetheless I gotta wonder if he can cut to uh, lightweight actually he was a uh, I noticed he was shorter than Volker but uh, it's tough to say me you know uh, it's whatever's comfortable with these guys Volker uh, he looked pretty good he just looks he looked really solid uh, that was the thing uh, solid but not spectacular uh, I think they, they mentioned on the uh, broadcast he's like 31 um i gotta wonder if they're gonna put him on the big shows uh after because this is a good win for him but it's um uh, you know and he like i said he did his homework he was sprawling when he needed to sprawl his stand-up was pretty crisp and whatnot ground and pound looked good um you know um uh, maybe he can fight like Tyron woodley next that wouldn't be too bad actually um or you can find Andre Gaval, you know, Gaval just came off a loss. Um, it, it's it's a case though where Strike Force doesn't they have like Safadine who's really good. I really like him. Tyron Woodley, really like him. Gaval just kinda of disappointed me. Vol you know, it's like then they just got Daly and then there's Nate Diaz, obviously, the champion. It's just it goes back to one of those things where it's kind of like, where would Volker fit there? Where does Bowling fit there, too? Bowling's like a prospect that's coming up. Volker, you know, he's been in the game for a while. Um, so, I, I can see him maybe find, like, maybe one, of, you know, like, like a Woodley or something like that, I guess. Um, maybe on the big show. I, I, I'm just not really confident that he should fight in the bigger shows, but at the same time, Knowing he's so experienced, it's like, it's kind of nice to give a guy a break, I guess. Um, bowling, man, that guy, he need he he needs to work on a lot of stuff. Thankfully, he's still young. Um, he, he can he can definitely, uh, get that stuff like touched up, you know. Uh, especially working off his back, pacing himself better, uh, completing takedowns, you know, um, and you know just. Picking his spots and, and whatnot, so oh, and I, I really hope to see Bowling come back. Um, he was actually a pretty, he's a really hot prospect actually. Um, when he first fought Volker, um, he, he was a very hot prospect. Obviously, this is definitely a skid in his uh development, but I I, I really want to see where uh Roger Bowling goes from here. So yeah, that's it for the post fight analysis for Bellator 33 and Strike Force Challengers 11. Uh, if you have any comments, please leave any or go to the CND channel at gmail.com. Also, check out the CND channel website. Uh, we're really going to try to put new content every day. Um, we're working really hard to get that done. I know you can leave comments on that now, so check that out too. Um, yeah, and if 
any one of you guys want to write for us, um, be really cool. I'm pretty much like the only writer <laughs> on the site right now. So, um, yeah, it'd be really cool. Uh, so, yeah, that's it for uh, MMA for you. And, yeah, uh, check back with us uh, soon. Thanks. Bye.